What would happen if you only trade regular divergence on the stochastic RSI with the main trend as determined by the 200 period exponential moving average? Will trading simple regular divergence on the stochastic RSI make you a profitable trader? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna test it 100 times in a row and let's first talk about the exact setup stop loss placement and take profit target that I'll be testing with this regular divergence strategy. So let's get into it. Now a quick plug for my Patreon page and my affiliate links in the description down below. Please consider checking those out if interested. Now let's talk about the strategy here and what indicators will be used. So first we have a 200 period exponential moving average and this is going to be acting as a trend direction indicator. So when price is below the 200 period EMA, then I will only be looking for regular bearish divergence on the stochastic RSI. I will only be entering short positions if price is below the 200 EMA. If price is over the 200 EMA, then I'll only be looking for long positions with regular bullish divergence on the stochastic RSI. Now next, I have a stop loss indicator here, and the settings are set to default. I'll show you which indicator I'm actually using. Uh, if we type in stop loss, it's called stop loss indicator, ATR stop loss indicator by Edgar underscore Tran underscore TR dot dot. Um, so that's the one I'll be using for the stop loss placement. And then we have the standard stochastic RSI with default settings as determined by TradingView defaults, okay? So now let's talk about the exact rules, stop loss placement and take profit target. And then we'll just go over a couple um, setups before getting into the 100 tested trades. Now let's go over the rules for entering a short position. So the first thing we need to see is price under the 200 period exponential moving average. The next thing we need to see for an entry is a regular bearish divergence on the stochastic RSI and then a cross down that confirms the regular bearish divergence. So we can see that happening here where price pushes up, stochastic RSI crosses down once here, then price makes a higher high right here while the stochastic RSI makes a lower high and then crosses down. So that cross down where it makes a lower high after price makes a higher high, that's a regular bearish divergence. That will be the entry signal um, on that stochastic RSI cross to the downside. So you can see this candle is where the stochastic RSI crosses down with that regular bearish divergence. And I've drawn in these arrows so you can see stochastic RSI making a lower high while price makes a higher high. Um, but that's the entry signal. The stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator and I will be targeting two times the risk as just kind of a standard risk to reward ratio. This may not be the ideal risk to reward ratio, but this is what I'll be testing a hundred times. So we can go to this next one here where we see once again, price does make a higher high while the stochastic RSI makes a lower high then crosses down. So the entry candle being right here and then placing that stop loss to the stop loss indicator and targeting two times the risk. Now let's cover a couple long entries. So with a long trade, you'll need to see price over the 200 period exponential moving average. Then we'll be looking for regular bullish divergence on the stochastic RSI as our entry signal. So we can draw it in here. If we take a look right here, we get our first regular bullish divergence where we get a lower low on the price right here. But at the same time, we can take a look at the stochastic RSI making a higher low and then crossing up. So our entry candle is going to be this cross up right on this candle um, with stop loss going to the stop loss indicator and targeting two times the risk. So we'll zoom out a bit there and it looks like it does end up hitting. Um, we do get another setup here um, where we get another regular bullish divergence and I'll draw it in there just to make things very clear. So lower low on price right here, but at the same time, we do have a higher low with the stochastic RSI. So our cross up happens on this red candle. So we'll be placing the entry there, stop loss to the stop loss indicator, and then targeting two times the risk, all right? So that is the setup, and that's what I'm gonna be testing uh, 100 times, and we'll see what the results are, but let's get into the 100 tests.
right, the results are in and they are very good. So let's check it out. This was tested on Bitcoin against the US dollar on a four hour time frame using a one to two risk to reward ratio. And it took three years and eight months of price data to find those 100 trade signals. There were 51 winning trades and 49 losing trades. The most wins in a row was six and the most losses in a row was eight. The gain on the account, 53% if risking 1% of account equity per trade, not compounding. So this was a very successful test, although obviously three years and eight months may not be ideal for a lot of people. I know a lot of the people watching my channel do like to have very frequent trade signals, but perhaps if tested on another time frame, it may still be profitable. Um, or if traded across multiple pairs and tested on those pairs as well, maybe you will get more signals that way. But I find that this strategy works very well at catching pullbacks in trends and really getting the top of a lot of the pullbacks to get trend continuation moves. So I personally really like this one. The most losses in a row being eight is pretty high up there, although that did only happen at the very beginning. And after that, there weren't very many drawdowns. Um, so some just you know statistical anomaly with that eight in a row being lost it would just happen to be a very choppy range for a long period of time where um, things just didn't work out as you know a trend following strategy will often encounter this issue uh, but this one did actually do a great job of staying out of most ranges um, surprisingly so Let's uh, move this on over to the strategy ranking spreadsheet and uh, see how it stacks up against other tests. Okay, here it is on the strategy ranking spreadsheet falling at spot number eight out of the 85 strategies tested so far on the channel. And this one performing extremely well, um, although I do know people don't like it when they take years to get the 100 trades. So perhaps try it on another time frame or try it on multiple pairs, you know, do your due diligence and your testing and figure something out that kind of works for you and your personal preference. Um, but what you could do also is change a few things about the strategy, such as the risk to reward ratio. Maybe you move the stop loss to break even at a certain point or move it into profit. Maybe you take partial profits or maybe you add another criteria altogether to try and improve the results. But this one having such great results already, it will be pretty difficult to achieve higher results than this one. So um, best of luck to anyone who tries modifying and working with this strategy, but I do think it is a good one to get you into trends at pullbacks and dips and put you at a good price, a good discounted price with the trend and you know get you in for a continuation move. So this one I really liked, and uh, that's going to kind of wrap things up here, and uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to check out my links in the description down below, along with my Patreon page and other affiliates. Um, appreciate you if you check those out. And anyway, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.